Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Hayashi. I'm about to be interviewed by two of my heroes in the entertainment business, two legends of magic, Penn and Teller. You know, uh, one of the things we liked about you on the show is that your name isn't that hard to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not that hard to say. So you've lived in Germany for a while? Been there 18 years. And how long have you been over here in the U.S.? Are you just visiting here for a while? I'm only here for my guest spot. Is that really it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. You fly right back when? Uh, day after tomorrow. Oh my goodness. No. How much time Tuesday, spent, yeah. How much time have you spent in Vegas? Five days. Six That's days. Living yeah. in your life. You've been here much? No. Did you see any other shows while you were here? David Goldrick, because oh. he's a friend of mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, we saw that show a while ago. Pretty good. Oh, okay. How'd you cool. like David Goldrick? Uh, good, because he's a he's an old friend of mine from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> good, because he's an old friend of mine? <laughs> In other words, do no. you fuck <laughs> Outstandingly good, and he happens to okay. be an old friend of mine Just from here. Yeah. Just coincidental that he's yeah. an old friend. Yeah. Because clearly, you would still like him if he weren't your friend. Yeah. He's not a guy in his fifties trying to be a, a you know a teeny goth boy in, in eyeliner. So he's. Uh, <laughs> I did not just say that. We're not going to air that. Yes, we are. Yes, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now uh, a man in his fifties. Yep. Okay. Um, so uh, now, how much how much professional magic? Because you you're, you're, teach English. Yes, this is my hobby. This is your hobby, gentlemen. This is this is my hobby. You yes. don't do you don't do magic professionally much? No. It's so good. Now we were told. Now is this true? Um, uh, Johnny and uh, Close told us. I think about you. Yeah. I'm not sure. We have you know we have, we've we've seen hundreds of people on the show and it, it it all goes away. It's all a blur. Right. Yeah. But they said that you sent in a video. Yeah. And that was okay. I thought it was all right. And you touched on this, yeah. and then I came in and it looked completely different. Yeah. Here's the real story behind and, that. And yeah. they said a zillion times better. Is that true? It is true. Okay, let's hear about it. Yes, the real story behind that is, uh, they asked me to be on the show and they said, we want this, sending me back my own link. It was a crappy link. I see. It was me uh, being shot by one of my students, mm -hmm. you know, at work, just, hey, look at this. They watched it go, like, Nothing. Uh, uh, some student happened to have an oh, iPhone, just me on, not really in performance mode. And they said, we want this. I said, are you kidding? Uh, I, there's gotta be some sort of a presentation. Like that's, that's nothing. No, we want that guy. We want you accessible, you're just, and I do have a musical, more artistic storytelling version uh, based on the martial arts of the same coin trick. I said, how about this? You know, it won the FISM European Championships. It's beautiful. It tells a story about handing down knowledge and experience to the next generation. The karate kid. No, we just, you're a guy with coins. So I said, all right. Then I'll, I'll write a monologue thing for it. And that's what, and then when I hit them with it, um, uh, Lincoln was, was real quiet. Just watch it. Well, actually, first it was, it was Johnny Thompson and Michael Close. I said, all right, let's see what you got. He's good. Let's bring in uh, uh, Andrew and Lincoln. Andrew, one of the executive producers of the show, was very brusque with me. I don't take him personally. He just looked at it and said, he's good, walked out. Lincoln, no, no, uh, other way around. Lincoln's the dark-haired gentleman. Andrew is the blonder of the two. Is that right? Nope, backwards. Backwards. The blonder one of the two, Lincoln, did this, lowered his hand, and, and was in tears. There you go. And said that that is, that is some of the most hilarious oh, good. presentation I've seen in a long time. So then... I took that as a sign I was on the right yeah, track. Yeah, yeah. So you did, you did kind of create it after you were booked. That yeah. Part of it is kind of true. It, w it was just for Penn and Teller oh, Fool Us. Right. Well, yeah. It was so beautiful and so funny. And then coupled with, you know, we know that the basic rule of comedy magic, and it's, it's very rarely broken, is that a comedy magician is not funny and doesn't do good magic. And they put it together and call themselves a comedy magician. Then there are a few who actually do good magic and are also funny. There's Matt King, there's Piff the Magic Dragon, there's you, and I'm sure there are others. <laughs> but it's a hard thing to do. Yeah. To be really funny and also uh, have all the moves that clean and good. So how much, so if people love you, yeah. they don't get to see you professionally anywhere? I'll have to find some place to perform. Yeah, you should, you should. Yeah. And you do yeah. a lot of magic for your students? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just showing Now, off. what do you do besides uh, besides coin? You do other stuff? I do a lot of other stuff. Well, actu actually, um, what is it? So in two weeks, I'll be doing um, a week at the Magic Castle. 
And literally the day after, I'll, I'll be staying in LA to shoot my next American television appearance, Performing Magic. On what? Uh, I'm not allowed to say it. Is that true? Yeah. Is it a secret? At the moment, yeah. Good, good, good. Well, so the viewers nice will get, get more magic coming from my uh, At the Trump re-election rally. <laughs> <laughs> Which he'll, he'll announce later. Yes. But I mean, do you do, what other stuff do you do? You do, you do cards? You do, is it all? Cards, oh. coins, and, and I do this uh, um, samurai sword act, cutting up vegetables held between uh, my assistant's teeth, strapped to his head like a, an Indian feather in his hands, oh, blindfolded. Really? So you do, uh, do you do, do you do samurai sword stuff or is it, is it just a... Uh... That's my other passion. When I was age 12, I decided I wanted to do magic in the martial arts for the rest of my life. But um, just to go back a topic... So you do martial arts? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But taking uh, the, the coin matrix and, and writing the script around it um, felt a lot like what, what the two of you gentlemen did with uh, uh, the Dracula act. I mean, take, taking that routine, which yeah, yeah. obviously I, I know. And when, when you started it, I thought, well, this is okay. This is gonna be not their strongest material, but it, it just, <laughs> it, 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 it had me giggling my ass off. It we, was, weren't, uh, yeah. we weren't friends of yours. You didn't say right away, that's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta know us first. Yeah. That's, that's cool, I'm, I'm glad you did that. So you do, a, you do a samurai? Where do you perform your samurai vegetable cutting on people act? On television. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been, uh, well, actually, for a decade, literally for 11 years, that's the only act that... Uh, no, yeah. no. A decade isn't a liter literally 11 years. For more than a decade. Oh, yeah, there, better. Okay, better. yes. Thanks for picking on my math. No, um, obviously, not compared to you guys, not a huge amount of television, everything's relative, but... You guys knowing television, you'll know how this is kind of a huge amount for, for a hobby guy, an individual. In the last 11 years from 2008, I've done 36 television shows in 12 different countries. That's pretty good. Always get, being booked over and over again for the blind sword stunt. Now, are you able Pit to point like that, or do you always have to do this? <laughs> <laughs> you always do that when you hold your hands up? Always? You don't, yeah. you, you just go like this. It looks prettier on camera. Okay. Yeah. So just do this? Yeah. Just what, do this? Just, just do just it. Do it. Okay, good, nice. <laughs> it's not always the claw. The craw. <laughs> it's not the claw, that's the, the that's the Hayashi, the that's the Hayashi telegenic oh, hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> it was so perfect. And uh, Get Smart, <clears throat> which you're too young for. There was a show on, uh, uh, on, television with Don Adams playing a um, secret agent. I don't even know who Don Adams is. Okay. I was born in 73. You ever heard of Mel Brooks? No. Uh, Spaceballs. Okay. 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 Um, they had a comedy show that was on TV. There was a spoof of James Bond. And uh, in the spoof of James Bond, there was a character, an Asian character. Oh no. And they had this racist thing that I just set you up for where he said, uh, uh, I am the craw. And he said, you're the craw? He said, not the craw, the craw. And they said, the craw? And he said, not the craw, the craw. So I said, you have your claw. And I thought you would go, not the craw, the craw. I am the craw. The craw, exactly. If I had you're known your reference, if you're, I had known your racist reference, craw? maybe I could laugh at what you talk about. You're the craw? <laughs> not the craw, the craw. So that's... Uh, that's how far we've That's come. like 70s Benny Hill, which is the oldest stuff I remember. Like, oh, he did, you know, yellow face. Look at all the people. They are all crapping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just the L and the R thing. But you're not Asian. You're Canadian, right? I'm still from the Asian genetic you're pool Canadian. and ancient bloodlines. You're yeah. You're just a Canadian guy. You're more likely to say oot than you are yeah. craw. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm Canadian. Yeah. Aboot those L's and R's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. It's aboot those L's and R's. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think it'd be better if we trash Canadians than Asians. Okay, let's trash There's Canadians. so many fewer of them. So many fewer. Yeah, but at least we Canadians are funny. Yeah, that's right. If you look at the that's history of comedy. It really is. Yeah, yeah, Neil yeah. Young, Joni Mitchell, you're there. Yeah. Do, do you have any wisdom you'd like to impart on me?
<laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, feels to me like the end. No wisdom. If you were to tell me one thing on which to base the rest of my career, what would it be? Avarice. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the crawl. The crawl. Yes, that was his word of wisdom. I'm Ryan Hayashi, and this has been a fun interview. Thank you very much.